Hello everyone. In this video, I'll talk about the lattice codes and their structure. Lattice codes are codes defined directly over Euclidean space. Or in simple words, these are code over real numbers. To understand lattice codes, let's discuss some of the important properties of linear error correcting codes. The linear error correcting code, for example, LDPC and polar codes are based on finite field, mostly in Galois field of two. In these codes, the bit sequences are encoded into binary code words before modulation. And the modulo two sum of any two binary code words is again a binary code word. Lattice codes are the Euclidean space analog of these linear error correcting codes. After encoding, a lattice code directly outputs a lattice point in Euclidean space. Also, the real vector sum of two lattice points is again a lattice point, which means that these codes have an algebraic structure. Lattice codes have gained significant att attention from researchers in recent years. They have shown to be effective in mitigating channel interference in multi-user network settings. These codes have been used in several techniques, for example, compute and forward framework and dirty paper coding to provide solutions to mitigate interference. These techniques have exploited the special structure of the lattice codes, which is not present in binary error correcting codes. Now let's discuss how a lattice point is defined. In a more precise definition, a lattice point is defined using basis vectors. An n-dimensional lattice point is the integer linear combination of n linearly independent basis vectors, denoted here as g sub 1, g sub 2 up to g sub n. Any lattice point x is g sub 1 times b sub 1 plus g sub 2 times b sub 2 added up to g sub n times b sub n, where b sub i are integers. A lattice code is generally denoted by Greek letter lambda. A lattice code lambda is set of all the lattice points x such that x is equal to g times b, where b is integer vector in Zn. And G is generator matrix where the basis vectors G sub 1, G sub 2 up to G sub n make the columns of this matrix G. Here is an example of a two-dimensional lattice which has two basis vectors of G sub 1 and G sub 2. Now let's see how to encode an integer vector to get a lattice point. Here the generator matrix G has basis vectors G sub 1, 0 and 1 and g sub 2, 1, 0 0.5. These basis vectors, g sub 1 and g sub 2 are shown in the figure. Assume that we have an integer vector b of 2 minus 1. To encode the integer vector b, we compute g times b. This gives a lattice point x of minus 1, 1 1.5, which is shown with a green circle in the figure. This is how we compute a lattice point for a particular integer vector. Now let's discuss some of the definitions related to lattice codes. These definitions are important to understand various properties of lattice codes. The square distance between any two points in Euclidean space is summation of the squared values of the numerical difference of their coordinates. Suppose in Euclidean space of dimension n, we have two lattice points x and y. The square distance between x and y is given as the summation of x sub 1 minus y sub 1 whole squared plus x sub 2 minus y sub 2 whole squared added up to x sub n minus y sub n whole squared. Here is an example of a 2D lattice where vector x is 0, 1 and vector y is 1, 0, 0.5. The square distance between these two lattice points is 1.25 computed according to the formula. Euclidean distance between two lattice points is the length of the line segment between these two points. It is obtained by taking the square root of the square distance between these two points, which can be computed as shown earlier. This far we have computed the distance between two points. If we have to compute the square distance between two distributions, uh, we can use the formula shown here. Suppose P P of t and Q of t are two distributions. The square distance between these distributions is the integral of P of t minus Q of t whole squared from minus infinity to plus infinity. 
Warner region or cell is the fundamental region of a lattice. The Warner region of a lattice point X in R sub N is the subset of R sub N, which is closer to X than any other lattice points. Warner region is represented by Greek letter nu. For any lattice, the Warner region of all lattice points are congruent and have same volume. The volume of Warner region is generally denoted by V and it is equal to the determinant of the generator matrix G. The volume of Warner region is also a measure of constellation density of a lattice. The Warner region of a lattice is shown here in the figure. Now let's discuss the channel capacity for lattice codes. When using a lattice code for an AWGN channel with power limit of T and noise variance of sigma square, the maximal information rate is limited by the capacity which is given by half log base 2 1 plus P over sigma square. The lattices can be continuous and infinite. So if there is no power restriction, this rate is a meaningless measure since it can be increased without limit. Instead, a measure of constellation density is used to provide a generic definition of capacity for lattices. It is defined as the maximal possible codeverse density that can be recovered reliably. When applied to lattices, this generalized capacity implies that there exists a lattice G of high enough dimension that enables transmission with arbitrarily small probability of error if and only if the channel noise variance satisfies a certain condition. The condition is shown here. Here, E is the Euler's constant. As long as the noise variance is less than the certain value, the data is transmitted reliably. This was an introductory video about lattice codes and lattice points. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions or feedback, please post in the comment section.